Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Diksha Karnataka. In my last video, I have discussed a complete 30 day strategy for chemistry for your upcoming KSA 2024 examination. In that video, I have mentioned the high weightage topics, moderate weightage topics and less weightage topics, right? So in today's video, I'll be discussing how exactly you have to prepare a topic. Like there are many concepts in one topic, right? So do we have to revise the whole concept or what if we give a specific attention to certain topics, our work will be done. So this will be helpful to invest less time, but uh, it will give you more output, right? So, so in today's video, we'll be starting with the first chapter that is uh, solutions from your PUC2 and it is a very high weightage chapter. You can easily expect three to five questions from this chapter. So let us begin topics in the solution chapter. So we have given you all the list of topics. First is solution and its types. Then we have concentration terms. Then we have Henry's law. We have Raoult's law. Next is ideal and non-ideal solutions, colligative properties and Vanto factor. So just can you just see these topics and just uh, comment down in the section how many topics you are very thorough with it. Okay. Which topics are very clear for you? Which topics are uh, we are little having doubt. So just uh, give a information about that to us. Okay, now let us see in detail. So first of all, solution and its type, right? So first that is classification based on physical state of the solvent. We have three types of solution, solid solution, liquid solution and gaseous solution. And based on composition, we have homogeneous and heterogeneous. I'll tell this topic is less important. Okay, not very important. But there is one table in NCRT book if you have revised, if you have seen where the examples are given here, right? So you have to prepare that examples only, right? So only you have to do is you have to revise that table. So that's all, that's all. If you have done, then this chapter, this topic is over. Now let's go to concentration terms. So we have here molarity formula, all of you know, moles of solute by volume of solution in ml into 1000. Then we have molality formula, moles of solute by mass of the solvent in gram into 1000. Then we have mole fraction, the mole fraction of the component divided by the total number of moles. So just direct formula based questions will be asked, revise these formulas properly. What else you should know? You should know how to calculate the molecular masses. Okay. So how to calculate molecular mass and one more important thing that you have to remember is the interconversion between molarity and molality. If molarity is asked how to calculate molality, if molality is asked how to calculate molarity. So such type of numericals you can do from your NCRT book examples, you can solve certain questions or you can do some previous year questions. Some you can practice around 5 to 10 questions from this topic, then you are good to go, right? So no need to give more, imp uh, more time for this, but just formula based questions you can prepare. So this part is done. Now let us go, uh, go to the next topic, Henry's law. Uh, statement uh, nowhere it is asked like for the but you have to only understand that the gas that will be dissolved will be proportional to the partial pressure of the gas. But what type of questions are asked here? Numerical is given from this formula. P of the gas is equal to Henry's constant into mole fraction of the gas. That is one is there. Another question that is asked is on the basis of solubility, right? So what is this? KH is inversely proportional to solubility. So such type of questions are also asked. So you can uh, practice two to three numericals on this topic and one question about solubility, then you are done with this topic. Okay. Next is Raoult's law. This is important one, important topic where you have to give little more time. Okay. So first of all, what is the statement tells us that the pressure of the gas will be proportional to its mole fraction, right? So P1 it will be proportional to P, uh, X1. Now what is here? How to calculate the total pressure? P01 X1 plus P02 X2. That will be our the total pressure. So from here you can practice numericals from NCRT book. Okay. And you can also do some previous year papers on this topic. Okay. Pre uh, practice minimum 5 to 10 questions. This will be an important topic. So prepare, give more time from this topic. Now let's go to ideal solutions and non-ideal solutions. Here let us quickly revise the difference between them. The first one is obeys Raoult's law. Second one is do not obey Raoult's law. Delta H mix is equal to 0 here not equal to 0. V mix will be equal to 0 for ideal solutions and is not equal to 0 for non-ideal solutions. 
then we have AB interactions are equal to A and BB, here AB interactions are not equal to A and BB interactions. But what we have to read here, these difference between will not be helpful for competitive, what you have to learn is examples. You can remember certain examples of ideal solutions and examples of non-ideal solutions, okay. Now coming to non-ideal solutions, we have this positive deviation and negative deviation. Here also you have to remember the difference between delta H will be, so you can very easily remember positive, so it will be greater than 0, negative it will be less than 0, V mix will be greater than 0, V mix will be less than 0, partial pressure, the total pressure will be greater, here the total pressure will be less, right. So the difference between we can remember, graph also you can just view once, but generally graph based questions are not asked, you can just see a revision, a quick revision of the graph. Here also you should remember examples for positive deviation and negative deviation, okay. Yes, now coming to azeotopic mixture, here also questions are not asked directly from your uh, definition base, but what we can just revise once. It is first of all a same composition in the liquid phase and vapor phase and they boil at a constant temperature, right. So what is the uh, problem with that? So we cannot separate them, right. So these three points you have to remember. First is they have same composition and liquid in vapor phase, they boil at a constant temperature as a result of which we cannot separate them, okay. Now what are the types, here is important, minimum boiling azeotope, in this what points you have to remember, minimum boiling azeotope is shown by solution showing positive deviation and then what is the example here, ethanol and water by the uh, composition also you should remember 95% volume of ethanol. Next coming to maximum boiling azeotope, maximum boiling azeotope is shown by the solutions which show negative deviation, right. And what are the examples, 68% of nitric acid and 32% of water. So till now the, you see these all are your what theoretical questions, we have not come to the numerical part till now. So next is your very very important topic that is colligative property. So what are colligative properties, the properties of the solvent which depend on the amount of solute added. Right. So first colligative property is relative lowering of vapor pressure, very important numerical. So the formula is delta P by P that is P naught minus P by P is equal to mole fraction of the solute, right. So here the terms are also given. So you have to practice minimum 5 to 10 numericals from this topic alone from this topic you have to prepare more number of numericals. Again the source will be your NCRT book or any previous year question papers. Okay, next is your elevation in boiling point, direct based question delta Tb is equal to Kb into M, here you have to also remember what is M formula, we have discussed in the starting W2 by M2 into 1000 by mass of solvent, right. So here no other questions are asked, generally you either you have to calculate the boiling point of the solution or you have to calculate the molecular mass of the solute to be added. So that you can easily do by this formula. So here also you should prepare 5 to 10 questions from this topic alone, okay. Next, depression in freezing point, very very similar to your elevation in boiling point. So there also what we have to do, the same formula delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. So what you may get to calculate the freezing point of the solution or you may also be asked to calculate the molecular mass of the solute. Generally these two questions are asked. So prepare this formula accordingly and do some numericals. Okay, next osmotic pressure diet formula pi is equal to CRT where C is your molarity, R is gas constant. Remember to take the value of R constant 0 0.0821 or you can take 0 0.083 liter ATM mole inverse Kelvin inverse, right. So here you should not take 8.314, okay, that will be wrong. So you have to take this value for R and pi is equal to CRT, temperature should be taken in Kelvin, okay. So and one more question that you should remember is what is isotonic solution? The two solutions having same osmotic pressure is called as your isotonic solutions, right. So what, what type of questions are asked here? Suppose they will give you two solutions are there whose osmotic pressure is same, one concentration will be given, you have to find the concentration of the other. So numericals from this part is also asked you direct questions, you can prepare them, some 2 to 3 numericals you can prepare from this uh, topic. Okay. Next is your Van Toff factor, 
uh, for CET exam, this topic questions are less asked, not very important, but you should know the formulas regarding that. So, if uh, first of all, what is this Van Toff factor? When to use it? That is more important. Whenever we have any electrolytic solutes, means which can associate or dissociate. There is one factor introduced in the formulas that is called as I. So, that is your Van Toff factor. Now, these are the formulas for your Van Toff factor, normal mass by abnormal mass or absorbed colligative property by calculated uh, colligative property, uh, total number of moles after dissociation by total number of moles before dissociation or association. Uh, but questions are not that much asked from these formulas, okay. So, if you do not revise these formulas is also okay. But for dissociation, what is the formula? Alpha is equal to I minus 1 by N minus 1. So, what is your I? I will be, you will be asked the degree of association or degree of dissociation that you have to calculate. N is the number of particles that is produced after dissociation. Now, for association, it is number of particles that is formed and here I is again your Vento factor, alpha is your degree of association, right. So, this formula you have to remember. Now, it is very easy to solve the numericals if you have already learned the colligative properties. Nothing you have to do, just you have to add one I before all the formulas, right. So, if, if it is 100 percent dissociation, so remember, suppose a compound is given NaCl. We added a solute NaCl and it is mentioned that it is 100 percent dissociation. Then I value will be directly 2. We can put the formula here. But if it is given some percentage of dissociation, suppose 94 percent of dissociation, right. In that case, you have to calculate I using this formula, okay. What is the value of I? We have to calculate first using this formula and then we can put in this uh, colligative property formulas, right. So, those type of two types of questions are asked. We have to give more importance to the colligative properties, the formulas that is there in the four colligative properties. Remember those formulas, prepare those formulas properly, uh, do around 10 numericals for each colligative properties, then your chapter will be done, right. So, this chapter is a very high weightage chapter. You will be getting definitely 3 to 5 questions and more expectedly these 3 questions can be from your colligative properties or molar concentration terms, right. So, please prepare it accordingly. That is all for today's video. Uh, if you have liked this video, please share it, like it and subscribe our channel. The link of this P, uh, PDF will be available in our description uh, section. You can download it from there. And any other queries you have or any other videos you want to request, any type of help you want from us, please comment it down so that we can address it. Thank you so much and all the best.